All right, Jamie, thank you so much. Well, we are here to talk about an important event coming up. The Cancer Support Community of Greater St. Louis's fall campaign celebrates hope after the darkness of a cancer diagnosis. And joining me this morning is Lori Thayman. She is the executive director of the Cancer Support Community. Lori, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning today. Thank you. Tell us first a little bit about what the Cancer Support Community does. Cancer Support Community provides free cancer support services to anyone impacted by cancer. So all different types of programs, um, nutrition programs, movement programs, support groups, everything, and literally anybody impacted by cancer. And emotional support for cancer patients and their families too, right? Exactly, so we do have support groups, cancer specific support groups, and we have um, short term individual counseling as well. And you guys have two really big events coming up next month. We start October tomorrow and mm -hmm. you've got a day of giving that's happening on October 11th. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So the campaign is called Hope After Dark and it's a day to give and a night to celebrate. So the day to give is October 11th. It's a crowdfunding day where all donations are matched. And then that culminates on October 12th with our uh, sponsor event. Okay, and how can people participate in this day to give and then also get tickets for the event the night after? So all of it is online at cancersupportstl.org and the day to give, you go online um, at cancersupportstl.org and either donate or buy raffle tickets and all of it is matched. And I understand this is your biggest fundraiser of the year. Why is this so important to get the word out and let people know about this to, to help these people who seek your services? Well, everyone's impacted by cancer in some way. And because what we do supports anyone impacted by cancer, that everyone really just needs to know about what we do. And this is our largest fundraiser. We're completely donor funded. So this is a really important way for us to keep providing those free services. And I know back when Tom O'Neill worked at Fox 2, he emceed a lot of your events mm -hmm, and you guys mm -hmm. are celebrating a big milestone, 30, 30 years. years. 30 years, yeah. And it's crazy. And, and we just say everybody needs to know about us and so many people still don't. So we really appreciate the opportunity to be here and talk about cancer support community. And I was on your website this morning and there's so many resources on there. There's so much info about what you guys do and the impact you make. And mm -hmm. if you can certainly check out how you can make a donation because yep. this really helps so many people in the community. It does, thank you. Yes, cancersupportstl.org is the way to find out about the resources, about how to contribute on October 11th or any other time, or still to become a sponsor for our October 12th um, night to celebrate. And how can people, tell us a little bit about this event because it is a big deal. It's a, it's a gala to an extent, and you guys have switched things up a little bit this year, but what can people right. expect this year and how well, can they get tickets? So we've shifted away from the traditional gala because we've made it more of a party, and it is a party. It's a lot of fun. Um, we have fun activities. We have a live auction. Our young professionals do a ring toss. That's a lot of fun, very popular. Um, so tickets are, um, individual tickets are available and sponsorships are available, and they're all online at cancersupportstl.org. And it's a simple click of a button and you, you're good to go. And this is happening October the 12th. And you guys have switched venues this year. Where is it happening? World's Fair Pavilion. It's going to be incredible. We're awesome. very excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we will hope for great weather that night. Right. <laughs> Just saying I'm hoping the temperatures don't drop too much. So, yeah. It sounds like it'll be a beautiful evening and so many things going on. So thank you, Lori, for what you, you do in the community and what the cancer support community does. We will put much more over on our website, fox2now.com. But thanks for Good, taking the thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank we'll you. be right back.